Greetings and aloha. What's going on? It's uh, Mike's from LiveMyAssOff.com. So I just thought I'd just do a quick, a short, quick video. There's no one around, so I'm going to dismount. But um, I'm on this street that has a lot of these on it. <laughs> I'm over here in Saladang. Um, one of the guys, the, one of the subscribers that, that connected with, he came here into Bangkok and his hotel's just down the street. And um, I had to drop off some at the front desk. And so I was like, hey, I'm just going to like walk around a little bit of Saladang. I'm in the neighborhood of Saladang. And there's the BTS station, Saladang. And there's also um, Silom on M MRT, if you're cruising over here. But um, I was just walking down this street. And I mean, again, it's Sunday, so there's not a lot of people. But there's like, so, you know, a few little shops and stuff. And I'm like, I should really show people this street because it's not necessarily the street you think of when you think of Bangkok or any big city really although to be fair like in Boston there's many tree-lined streets like this you know the back bay and, and that sort of area although it's funny I actually kind of forget the names of the anyway near the Charles River and over by the universities MIT that sort of thing but anyway let me see if I can pause this and then switch the camera around so you can see a little bit of the trees and take a look down the street here now I had to switch actually I stopped the video so that means I'm gonna have to cut this up later but Anyway, you know, I mean, I don't usually do like, you know, three or four minute videos because <laughs> I've got a lot on my mind. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to kind of share this with you guys. I, I was, you know, I was over here. The other thing I was thinking about when I was over here, of course, Gracie and I stayed over here. Gracie stayed over here um, when she uh, had to come into Bangkok or when she got to come into Bangkok and then head over to the U.S. Embassy and get her visa. Uh, her U.S. tourist visa, her 10-year multiple entry visa, B1, B2. And so she and I stayed over in this area because it's effectively within walking distance to Lumpini Park, which basically means it's within walking distance to... Um, I mean, there's like huge buildings and that sort of thing. And then there's like this whole like sort of just like neighborhood feel with these, with these trees. Anyway, so she came over to this area um, because it's down the street from, you know, near wireless, right? Which is effectively where um, well, many embassies, but specifically the U.S. Embassy, which is just enormous. But nonetheless, she had her appointment there to go, you know, interview for her visa and then um, picked it up a few days later. But anyway, it was just, anyway, it was just a quick walk down this uh, sort of, you know, street that, quite frankly, I just did not expect to see here in the Big Mango. It's probably gonna rain and stuff, but the cool other thing too is that on the Solidang up here, Solidang Road, um, is, uh, there's a lot of these. There's a lot of shops with, umbre or, uh, with umbrellas, with, <laughs> with, um, with awnings, and so you can kinda like walk down the street and not get wet if it's raining, <laughs> he said hopefully, so. And, uh, and then you come out right here, and then there's another, you know, giant building, which is HSBC. And then this is, you know, this is uh, back towards Solidang and towards the, um, towards the BTS. I'm also going to cruise over there because one time I was over here on a Sunday, and they had a night market. But I'm not really sure if that's occurring tonight, but we'll check that out too. But yeah, a lot of foliage. Kind of cool. And it's interesting too, these, this is sort of an example, and there are many other areas in Bangkok like this, where it simply was an area in Bangkok. Um, and then, you know, for whatever reason, based on development or people just like discovering it, or the real estate was really cheap, so a bunch of people bought it and then made it really expensive, or gentrification, or whatever you want to sort of label the area. You know, I mean, look, Bangkok is, <laughs> it's not like any other city's immune to that. I mean, Bangkok is one of those cities, but, if you've been over here for a long time, you've seen sort of the increase in affluence that's occurred in areas like Saladang, for example, Tong Lo, Prakanong, and soon, as far as I estimate, <laughs> Udom Suk. I, and again, I just came over here to just like hang out and, uh, you know, go for a little bit of a walk. So I didn't bring my gimbal, so therefore I'm shaking. But I also didn't bring my umbrella. <laughs> so I think I'm going to need to find some shelter whatever that is, I, it'll likely be a mall because there's no shortage, no shortage of those in Bangkok either. But 
Anyway, it, I just wanted to check in. I hope you guys are having an amazing Sunday. I'm actually enjoying myself over here amidst the fact that I miss Gracie because when I reflect back on places that we've been together and she's not here, <laughs> uh, it's kind of a drag. But we're working on a solution to that and I'm, uh, I'm quite confident that she and I will be back together and the team will be back at full strength before the end of the year. So, there you go. Anyway, it's Mike from LiveMyAssOff.com saying I hope you're living the dream because if you're not living the dream, there's a high likelihood that you've never just like walked down a side street in Bangkok and checked out a neighborhood that you really thought wouldn't exist in a big city like this with a whole bunch of public transportation and big skyscrapers and buildings. And then all of a sudden you're in a city forest. I'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao.